Well, as we've been advertising on our station, April is Autism Awareness Month. Children with autism experience social and learning differences and disabilities. But here with some tips for addressing these differences at school is our fab mom, Jill Simonian. Hey, Jill. Hi. Hi, Pat. Listen, admittedly, I know the school year is winding down, and admittedly, I do not have a personal connection to this issue, but as a parent, I think it's so important to talk about it, to educate ourselves, to create empathy between our families and our kids when doing this. And I found this fantastic article in uh, LA Parents Inclusive LA's uh, insert this month. They have uh, tons of information about autism and special needs and, and learning differences, and I just, I thought it was perfect to share. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And we're, you know, we talk about this all the time, mm -hmm. one in 68 kids. I yes. mean, that's just, I remember when it was one to 10,000. So this is just, just constantly growing. Exactly. Now, the first tip for parents um, you have is to foster a positive relationship with the teacher. Right, right. This always goes without saying, I, I feel like, you know, you always want to have a good relationship no matter if your child is special needs or not. Correct. But I think for those affected with autism and special needs, especially in the LA Parent article, it, 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 they say make an extra, extra effort. The teachers and specialists are your best friends. Talk to them. There's no such thing as asking too, too many. many questions, you know? I mean, parents are, we're our kids' biggest advocate. Yes. And it's up to us to ask the questions. And then also with your child, make sure you reinforce it at home saying, this teacher, this specialist, this person, this is our buddy. This is our person. This is the person that you go to so that the child feels that They're connection that at school. Bond and that yes. trust. Yeah. And next, you want to make sure that the child feels confident with their own self esteem. That's mm -hmm. very important, too. Yeah, yeah, it is. I, confidence is important, I think, for any kid, but especially with kids with special needs and autism. I mean, even a lot of my friends who are dealing with certain issues, they say they celebrate the positive things. Anytime there's growth in an area, anytime there's a, a challenge that's overcome, celebrate it, celebrate it, celebrate it, because you want to feed that kid's confidence, you know. And even with kids, like with my own kids, I tell them, listen, if there's someone at school, Talk about, I mean, we, we all need to talk about it with our own kids. If there is someone at school who maybe, you know, you don't understand or they have a difference or a challenge, be kind. Be kind. Be Reach kind. out to that person. Give them something to say, hey, you know what, good job, buddy, you know. I think it's just wonderful how um, all this advocacy is coming about now. I yeah. have a special needs sister yeah. who back, you know, in elementary school, even through high school, they, we, they didn't know much about the mm -hmm. special needs, and you really didn't know how to, to um, I would say, interact with, with young people, mm -hmm. but I love the the fact that we're talking about this now yeah. and most young people students yeah be kind to people who are different than you mm -hmm. they're still people too yeah. and you can have a special bond with them because yeah. they're they're so loving well that's yeah that's why we're talking okay. that's why that's there why. you go <laughs> all right thank you jill sure, thank and you. we will have more information as well um as upcoming fun local events for families affected by autism and learning differences on our website cbsla.com all right